It really is sick, not to mention irresponsible and downright dangerous. They're the latest fad on the internet, bizarre websites that actually promote anorexia. What's more, they're specifically targeting our kids, offering tips and tricks about how to stop eating, how to deceive parents and friends. Then there are the pinups, proudly displayed as role models. They're truly frightening painfully thin, just human skeletons. And there are not just one or two of these sites. As Peter Overton discovered, there are hundreds, putting who knows how many young people in harm's way. In a bedroom in suburban Australia, this 16-year-old girl is secretly learning how to starve herself to death. Across the world in San Francisco, Lizzie Eastman is teaching her how. When I first purged, I was purging the bathroom and they gave me a tip about purging the shower because people can't hear it over the water and if you have a shower radio, so things like that. Laurie, as she wants to be known, has always been concerned about her weight. And in her early teens, the age when girls are most at risk of getting anorexia, her worries became an obsession. An obsession that drove her onto the internet to find other girls just like her. I was really happy. It was just like I fitted in somewhere. And they had a buddy list with like emails. And it was just really good to know that I wasn't alone. And because then I was. I wanted to die because I was just by myself, because I'd already secluded myself from everyone else. How do you hide your thinness from people? Um, I wear layers of baggy clothes, like one, two, three, four, five. So four shirts and a jacket and two yeah. pairs of pants? Yeah. And where did you learn this from? The sites taught me to cover up. And who are you deceiving? Friends, family, school teachers. Laurie hasn't told her parents. The one person she confides in is a 15-year-old friend also using the websites. Laurie is infatuated with anorexia, but tonight she'll confront the reality of what it does to its victims. Oh my God. Lizzie Eastman is a 19-year-old student living in San Francisco. She's been anorexic for four years. Her pro-anorexia website is one of 500 to be found on the web and is Laurie's favourite site. You've been up and running for two years, mm -hmm. more than 160,000 visits. Right. Isn't it a case of simply the sick leading the sick? Maybe. Lizzie knows she's ill, but it's an illness she finds impossible to beat. You call anorexia Anna. Mm -hmm. Do you regard Anna as your friend or as your enemy? A little bit of both. It's something that will make you feel mis more miserable than you've ever been in your entire life, and yet it's enticing, and you can't let go of it because it's the only thing you have. Lizzie posts tips on her website on how to fast, how to suppress hunger and how to hide anorexia from prying parents. She maintains she's supporting fellow sufferers, not encouraging them. Well, a website like mine can't keep anybody sick. We can just help people that don't want to recover stay sane, really. Stay sane. Mm -hmm. Let me quote from your website purge in the shower or turn on loud music to cover up the sound. Mm -hmm. How can you defend that and say that's helping someone to stay sane? Have you ever been hospitalised against your will? No, I haven't. It's horrible. And if I had had a website like mine showing me how to keep people from knowing about it until I was ready to tell them and until I was ready to come out and really commit to recovery, then I think I would have been in a much better space. 
When you log on to one of these sites, you enter a frightening subculture complete with its own language. Here, anorexia is discussed more as a lifestyle choice than a debilitating disease. It's a web of deceit and young Australian girls are logging on in disturbing numbers. Here in San Francisco, in just 20 minutes, we found 50 Australian girls using these pro-anorexia websites. I've just brought up here this section on um, bad tips. To have this extent of detail so available, I really think is very worrying. Tie a piece of string or dental floss to don't, don't, We don't need to hear the detail, seriously. Mm. Professor Susan Sawyer heads the Eating Disorder Program at Melbourne's Royal Children's Hospital. These websites, she says, are so insidious, they're adding another complex dimension to the already difficult job of treating anorexia. And her weight. The fact that these websites are su in such a detailed manner, giving people the weapons by which they can, in a sense, cause their own self-destruction, is... Um, it, it's pretty tragic to watch. Now, I was ecstatic when I found the, that little section that said tips and tricks. I thought, oh yay. It's like having a website for people who are addicted to drugs, how to stay addicted to them or how to commit suicide. It helps you basically learn to starve yourself. Come on, pretty baby. Watching the vibrant young woman she is today, it's hard to believe that 12 months ago, Hannah Seddon was in anorexia's grip. If I'd met you at your worst, when you were really ravaged by anorexia, what would I be looking at? I was shy, very lost, very skinny, very pale. I looked like I'd just come back from a concentration camp. My ribs were showing, my cheekbones were coming out, my eyes were sunken in, I had no spirit, I'd lost my soul. Laurie lives and quite possibly could die from these website tips. She exercises relentlessly and she hardly eats. Apart from the disturbing tips she finds, there are galleries of stick-thin, emaciated women. Inspiration for followers, or what the websites call thinspiration. So this photo here, what does that mean to you? I don't know, it just shows perfection, I think. Rib cage hanging out, legs that skinny, that's perfection. But it shows that she hasn't been tempted to have the food. It's just something to aspire to, I think. To like, for me, I just look at it and it keeps me happy. And so you go to them if you're hungry to help you what? To help me not be hungry anymore, because as soon as I see them, I'm not hungry. I have spoken to young women who were addicted to your websites, who hung off your every word, your every tip. Mm -hmm. Are you proud of that? No. A doctor I've interviewed says, these are a terrible weapon, these websites. Weapon? A weapon. A weapon. You are helping people kill themselves. I can't force anybody to do anything. They really did encourage me to be more sick, and they made it proud. There were actually some quotes that I saw saying that just being anorexic was something only a small group of people could handle, that the rest of the world wasn't strong enough to starve themselves. Today, Bria Roberts is thankfully returning to a healthy body weight. Last month, she was crowned Miss Teen Ohio, Last year, she was near death from anorexia. I actually would grab parts of my body and I would just sit there just wishing I could cut that part off. I just wanted all of the fat gone. And every time I looked, I saw fat, even though everybody was telling me I was so small. You have always been my hero. Bria ended up being hospitalized and being force fed. Together with her mother, she now wants to help others to counter the damage caused by websites like Lizzie Eastman's. That website truly disturbed me. I've, I've just read thousands of pages 
of girls talking to each other about how to stay anorexic, how to stay bulimic, how to fight their battles of being so sick, and it makes me cry. Bria is one of the lucky ones. Anorexia is like a slow suicide and regarded as a deadly mental illness. I don't want to die, but I realize that it's a possibility. And I know that at some point I'm going to have to choose whether I want to go on and have a normal life and be successful and have a family, or if I want to continue with my eating disorder and basically starve myself to death. I can't believe it's a year since we last saw each other. Yeah. I first met 35-year-old identical twins Rachel and Claire Wallmeyer a year ago. Then they were running and starving themselves to death. Now they can barely walk. Wow. What big... sort of trees are they? They're below Wait. 30 kilos and their bodies are falling apart. We've lost the ability to function normally. My eyesight's getting worse, I'm losing my teeth. The most <laughs> crucial thing is to let people know that anorexia is not a choice and is not a, a um, positive illness, it's a killer. We'll just have a listen to your heart. For Rachel and Claire, tragically, it seems all hope is just about gone. But they bring hope in other ways. They wanted to meet Laurie. They wanted to shock her and possibly save her. How do you feel about meeting them? I'm scared. Have you ever met anyone with severe anorexia? No, never. No, I've only seen photos. Yeah. Yeah. They really want to meet you. Oh my God. Don't worry. Hi, girls. Hi, Peter. Hello. This is Laurie. Hi. This is Claire. Hi, Laurie. Nice to meet you. Thank and you. this is Rachel. Nice to meet you. I wanted to see Laurie because what she she's about at the age where I started to seriously die at 14. And when I started, it was never a serious thing. It was going to be, oh, I can start today, lose weight, and I'll put it back on later on. Who cares? And then now, 20 years later, I've I've still got anorexia and the sign, it takes away your whole life. It stopped my whole life. No one can stop her starving herself. She can't stop it starving herself. And nobody can come up with an answer. Is death. So yeah, you're so playing with a disease that kills. Stop before it gets you. Yeah, because it, it will kill you. you. That yeah, is in a percentage of cases um, a killer. How did you feel listening to their story? It's sad. It was sort of scary because I could, they kept saying this could be you in 20 years and so the fact that it could be me, I kept trying to picture that as me. It's hard to think that you'll give it up when it's something that you do day in day out. It's just something I've always had and so to actually get rid of it is going to be hard, but they definitely gave me very good reasons to. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the Nine Now app.